Hey everyone, come join my son and I as we spend some quality time together carving pumpkins. Now you guys, this video is super sped up because this process took us over an hour long and I did not want to post a video that was over an hour because it was just not necessary. So I super sped everything up. So that's why we're moving relatively fast. So I realized that I haven't carved pumpkins in over 10 years since my son was about maybe seven or eight years old. And my son is about to be 17 this year. So it has been quite a while. And the reason being is because we don't have trick-or-treaters where we um, our house is located because it is located off of kind of a busy road. So we don't get trick-or-treaters walking along the road on which we live. But now that we are in a community, we decided to go ahead and do some community things. So we are decorating the outside of the house and we're gonna pass out candy this year. So as you can see, we have switched pumpkins. My son is now cutting the bottom of my pumpkin and I am starting to clean out the guts of his pumpkin. I'm um, getting all the guts and the seeds out. These pumpkins are super huge and super heavy. So now that he has taken the bottom off of mine, y'all already know what time it is because I am not cleaning out these guts by myself, okay? So we are about to switch pumpkins because we're gonna work on our own pumpkins, right? So his pumpkin is bigger than mine, of course, but I am getting the guts out of mine and he is getting the guts out of his. Now y'all, this is so funny because he does not like getting his hands dirty unless it's like outside playing football he don't really like getting his hands dirty for or dealing with cars i will say dealing with cars but he put on a glove and put on a plastic bag on his arm so that he wouldn't get the gushiness of gookiness or whatever you want to call it the sliminess of the insides of the pumpkin look mine is hollowed out i didn't i did the thing i did the thing but so he won't get the the stuff on himself but Mr. Ambidextrous doesn't realize that he used his right hand for a majority of it and scraped stuff out with his right hand. So yeah, that glove and that sleeve was kind of pointless. Now I am now working on my son's pumpkin because he had a fit that his pumpkin was not as clean out as mine. So I'm cleaning out his pumpkin, but my cousin came along. So that's what you are seeing um, me giving my cousin a hug. And he comes over on the weekend sometimes just to kick it with us and see what we're doing and all that good stuff. So you know me, the perfectionist, doing what I gotta do to make sure that this pumpkin is completely cleared out and had to get it inspected by my son. Y'all see it, y'all see it. I am the cleaning master when it comes to these pumpkins now, okay? So what we're doing here is we're fitting the bottoms back on our pumpkins just to make sure that when we scraped, we didn't increase the hole at the bottom and that our pumpkin bottoms still fit on the bottom. Now this boy was so eager because he wanted to create the hole for the candle already. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. And now here we are where they decided that they wanted to taste these pumpkins and got me tasting it too, but it was super sweet. So here I am finished cleaning off our pumpkins because we uh, rinsed off the some of the guts and stuff from the pumpkins. And we are about to draw our faces onto the pumpkins. Now I only had one marker, so we had to do like Barney says and share, okay? So I drew my face on there first and he is trying to figure out exactly what he's going to draw. Man, this child was so indecisive about what he wanted to draw onto his pumpkin. It was so funny but I have started carving my face out and we are just kikiing and laughing it up having us a good time now y'all my cousin cut the bottom of my son's pumpkin because he was when we were tasting it we didn't realize where he got that piece that we were tasting from man he got it from the bottom of the pumpkin so we had to make sure that the bottom of the pumpkin still fit the pumpkin so that is a quick little kiki as you can see i am killing this pumpkin carving game because guess what guess what my pumpkin is done my i'm done like yes so you know take another sip of my cocktail my cousin i've made him the bartender for the night since he was over i had to put him to good use so i don't know if y'all seen him pass me um my glass but yes he was the bartender for the night and now i am just um carving out the area for the candle so that i can put my tea light candle in there y'all i am super excited about this putting my fitting my stuff on fitting my stuff on y'all watch this watch this y'all watch this 
You ready? Look, look at my smile. Look at all smiles. I'm so happy. I'm so pressed. Now this must have been my jam or something, but this is another reason why we are all voiceover and y'all can't hear anything in the background. Aside from me having to super speed up the um, video, we were jamming out and I didn't want any copyright infringement. So yeah, so right now what I'm doing is what I do best and I'm cleaning up. I am starting to clean up while he is finishing up his pumpkin. And Mr. Ambidextrous, if you noticed, he has been twitching heavily between his right and left when he goes to doing anything as far as this pumpkin carving is concerned. I just think that's really cool. It's amusing to me, so I apologize. But I am on off to the right side of the screen. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling apart the seeds from some of the meat. And you can see I have a bowl of seeds here. And what I want to do with the seeds is I want to roast some pumpkin seeds. I want to put some cinnamon on it, some sugar, and have a nice sweet pumpkin seed treat, okay? So my son is finishing up his pumpkin and he is super hyper focused on his smile portion. And that's what this is. And he actually was so focused that what he did was he took the smile in sections and cut it out that way to make sure that he got it right. Cause I'm not even gonna hold you. I chipped one of my tooth or one of my teeth on my pumpkin. So he wanted to make sure he didn't do the same thing. So here is his finished pumpkin. Look at him. He is so happy that he finished his pumpkin. I told him go ahead and get his um, candle situation together. So here is him fitting the candle at the bottom part of his pumpkin where it's going to rest so that we can light it and it can become a jack-o-lantern so this is the process right here of him doing all that this was so much fun y'all like when i tell y'all we had an absolute blast doing this and of course me being the neat freak that i am cleaning off the excess um meat and stuff that was in the pumpkin but we are about to do the test for my son now he was so eager he was like nah, i'm gonna cut off the light already so you go over there and cut the light off um when i tell you to so i'm like okay son all right so we had to make sure the bottom fit properly and look y'all this is his test run for his jack-o-lantern this is so cool so now we are about to light both of ours up now look this is where it posed as a challenge because unbeknownst to us the long stem um lighter ran out so my son had to run all the way downstairs where my grill lighter is i have a long stem uh, lighter for my grill and a long stem lighter for my candles and stuff so he had to run all the way downstairs to get the long stem um, lighter. But look y'all, these are our finished products and I could not be any more prouder than what I am. I love this and this was some great quality time together. Hope you enjoyed.